<laughs> Hi. Hello. These are our friends. Let's call it. Carly. Hello. David. You know us? Yes. Welcome to Lake Tarawira. Looks like Yeah, yeah, it's just bang on. <laughs> <laughs> this beautiful slice of paradise this weekend. Our friends, Carly and David, invited us to join them at, they call them batches here in New Zealand, but it's basically like a family vacation home. Generally, it's associated with the coast. Anyone who's New Zealand in the comments, anyone who's from New Zealand or a New Zealander, feel free to expand on my description or just correct me if I'm wrong because still learning but David's family has an interest in one here and they invited us along to join them for the weekend it is so stunningly beautiful here here the amazing b-roll drone shots I mean in terms of how stunningly beautiful it is here from those drone shots <laughs> what we're doing here now today Harley and David are gonna meet us in the next few minutes they've gone to rent some bikes and we're gonna hit a fairly easy going trail hopefully and after that hopefully go out and sup on this beautiful lake which I'm most excited for I think and just swim around and enjoy being here Marek is exploring around Not sure what he's looking at there, or if you can even see him standing at that sign, having a little look around, a little investigate. What you seeing? What you doing, buddy boy? What did you find? Information? Those weird New Zealand rating systems again. What do you so mean? the trails around here, it's graded. It's a grade two and a grade three. Grade two meaning it's easy, grade three meaning intermediate, but grade two here is firm, solid, you know what's coming, it's relatively flat with a few gentle climbs, you know, really easy. Grade two is like a jump up there, steep drop-offs, rocks, river crossings. You mean stage three? Grade three. grade 3. Grade 3. It goes from grade 2 to grade 3. There's <laughs> nothing in between. Oh boy. <laughs> do they really need to add more numbers in the grading systems. <laughs> hey, bikes like nuts. Don't, like, actually don't be tapping this front brake. <laughs> <laughs> Who's leading the show? Go on. Uh, not me. I don't know. Is the it one way, way in and. Plan. So we <laughs> did you get any of that interaction? Mm -hmm. Oh damn. I got a bit of it. Did you? Yeah. Sweet. Maybe just we'll like get that from you. We just had um a fun conversation with two people that are so doing the, the little the, trail chit chat. Yeah, a little trail chit chat, you know? Um they are locals in this area and they do this trail like every two weeks. Careful there's someone coming. And they were saying we should totally do the whole thing. But the thing is that the whole thing is probably going to be like another hour and a half, maybe even another two hours. And it's 52 k's. And it's like 52 k's. I don't We're know only where you four saw kilometers that on the board. in. It's on the board, <laughs> on the map. So yeah, 
Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this view though. This is a, not a bad place to start. Oh, it's beautiful. And they've got little places to park your bikes as well. They've cut slots into this log over there so you can just put your bike straight in. Mm -hmm. We've now had to swap over to our very old and decrepit GoPro from many years ago because my mistake I left our spare camera batteries in the car <laughs> so the only battery I had is now flat Now <laughs> 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 oh, we got the whole team in The whole crew Act like you're enjoying it <laughs> After a long and strenuous cycle, although not too strenuous, it was very enjoyable, I'm ready, changed and ready to hit the water and do something that I haven't done or we haven't done in a very long time and I'm very excited for it. I'm designated cameraman for this one. <laughs> frustrating thing happen we're having such a lovely time out on the water and when I came back in someone approached me and said that they were from the harbors office or something some official office and basically enforcing the rules of this lake um, and I was told that they needed my name and my address because they'll send that off to their office and I may or may not get a fine for being out on the water on a subboard without a life jacket. Which, granted, they did say there's signage up, but this we is our first time being signage. here. I haven't seen the signage. Um, and I just think it's a bit extreme. And I now can't go back on the water because, you know, it'll get worse if I go back out now without a life jacket. And they've just come to speak to me. But, I mean, I said to them, and it was all very calm and collected and everything but I did say to them like I don't agree with what they're doing um, and well, well, the job, people should we agree with the job yeah I understand they're trying to protect yeah. people yeah, but yeah. I mean I don't agree with it being so harsh and like give your feedback yeah my feedback would be like first warning with the option of taking a life jacket and they do have the option of giving you a life jacket which you have to return in town I'm not sure why you can't return it here, but that place in town is not open tomorrow and we're leaving tomorrow. So that doesn't make much sense. They, they don't give you a first warning, they just go straight to taking your name and sending it to some head office. There's no warning, there's no nothing, it's just like straight to a potential punishment, which I don't think is fair. I feel like people should be given a first warning and the option of taking the life jacket and if you then carry on and you don't take a life jacket, understandably, you then deserve to have your name taken and given to some head office and whatnot. So that ends my supping for the day, which makes me so sad. I did get to go out there for quite a bit now. I was so happy out there. I was on my way back to get the GoPro to just share that with you guys. It's so nice out there. We did get some drone shots though, so 
thankfully. That ends that, and David and Carly are still out there. Yeah, we have no way to tell them. I actually have think. No way of warning yeah. them. They don't have life jackets <laughs> either. Um, so, yeah, they're probably gonna have the same spiel we did. Oh, got it. <laughs> That was lovely. Out on the water. Come back to our little picnic spot. There's Carly. And we're probably going to start packing up to head home, which is very sad. But before we go, I wanted to ask David to share with you guys some of the fun facts he told us when he was telling us about the place before we came here. Because he's been coming here for many years now. Very passionate about the area. Are we not, David? Yeah, yes. passionate. <laughs> So, what can you tell us about this area? Well. Yeah. <laughs> want to tell you about the area? Yeah. Uh, I, okay, fun fact number one, it's the third largest lake in New Zealand by surface area. Alright. But the second largest by volume. Its average depth is like 75 meters. It's so deep. And in fact, just you... out here, yeah. where you would have supped, yeah. is a point where within 100 meters it goes from like zero depth to like 80. It's crazy. Oh. I'm not sure if you noticed, but it would have just gone like black. Yeah. Rock, yes. rock, rock, black. Yes. Yeah, the mountain up there, I'm not sure. Oh, you can kind of see it. It's not a great angle from here. Yeah. But that erupted back in 1886 and covered this like whole area and just mud. So I think like what we're standing on here is just like raised ground from the, the volcano. Um, and right down through the back is like another little lake area yeah. that used to have a. Um, one of the eighth wonders of the world they called it at the time, which is the pink and white terraces. It's like a thermally active um, silica pool. And there was a pink one and a white one. There were just these like amazing pools of um, like minerally rich water. And oh, you could nice. just go sit in there and chill. And if you sat in there long enough, you'd come out just white and crystallized. It was awesome. <laughs> Salty. Yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs> YouTube, welcome to our channel. <laughs> we hijacked the camera. <laughs> Not me, she did. Sarah and Merrick are about a, I don't know, 150 meters out there, something. Remember to look at the lens. Merrick taught us look into the lens, not into the screen. The glare is too much, I can't even see Talk myself. Talk directly on the to your audience. So, my turn to say something? We definitely need to not do YouTube.